Hey gang, three quick things on this New Year's Eve. Wow, what a year 2020 has been. Wow! Okay, thing number one. It looks like that second, smaller, tiny round of stimulus from Uncle Sam is going to be hitting bank accounts over the next number of days and weeks. If you do not have an emergency fund, get it fully funded with this extra money from Uncle Sam, okay? That's $500 if you are single. That's $1,000 if you are married or you have children. Get an emergency fund fully funded. Now, on to the challenge part of this second round of stimulus. Generations Community Church family, I'm asking those of you who have not lost income to double tithe on this stimulus money. Uh, that's exactly what Team Vanderpool is going to do. So if you have not lost income uh, because of the 2020 pandemic and lockdown and all this craziness, then I want you to double tithe on this stimulus money because this is extra for you. Send that 20% directly to Generations. Let us know that you've done so. And here's what we're going to do with that extra. We're going to take half of it and we're going to set it aside for our 2021 renewal initiative. I'm kind of excited about this for a number of reasons. We're going to take the other half and we're going to send it to our friends who are serving halfway across the world whose picture hangs in our sanctuary but whose names I cannot mention here on the interwebs. And so that's what we intend to do with the extra that comes in that you funnel our way through your hard-earned tax dollars, by the way. You paid for this. Secondly, we are online only this weekend. Chesman County is still a red zone county, uh, but we don't have heat at all anymore in the sanctuary, bathrooms, nursery, G-Town side of our facility. The heat finally went <coughs> The good news is we have inked a deal with our landlord. I'm going to be sharing those details on Sunday and we will have a new heating and air conditioning system installed, actually three of them installed, that will heat and cool the sanctuary and children's area sides. It will be gas-fired heat, the warm kind of heat, and it will be some awesome air conditioning. That installation is set to take place January 4th, which means by the end of next week, cross our fingers, weather permitting, we should be able to fully heat and cool our facility. Finally! All right, those are the three things I wanted you to know on this New Year's Eve. I hope to see you soon online and in person. Oh yeah, I went there.